Well, this is what we were looking at before. This is these are the um, floor joists on the ceiling, but the walls and everything was like that. And now we have drywall. Put drywall on the walls. Um, again, just uh, putting the drywall there where it meets up on a stud and securing it there. I need to still have some nails I need to screw in here, but we've got everything drywalled out here. A little shelf here. The foundation wall came in. Got the crawl space access. <clears throat> That's uh uh, sewer if somebody wanted to put a basement uh, bathroom here but we're not so we just finished it all up anyway so that's the drywall <coughs> that we've done and uh, now we've started to put the mud this was existing and now we're coming down here tying in, tying into the existing structure and uh, so we're putting the mud, mud along the seams fill that valley in there and then put your uh, paper and then fill on top of that of course everywhere I put a screw put mud in there, got a little bit of a mess here because we're combination storage place and being remodeled this is how that door ended up that we widened drywalled and then the first layer of mud and so we've mudded all this in as well drywall mud on the screw heads put mud in the valleys the seams where two pieces come together and and the corners we did those uh, you can barely see it here there's it's actually a, a corner piece of metal and then it has two pieces of paper that come out like that so it's a little more reinforced you can kinda see some of the metal right there you can see some of the metal right here and we're making our way we're making our way got this window drywalled in, mud, and we're making our way to this point right now, the second window. So, we'll continue putting the mud in all the screw holes and seams, work our way around, and then put up the ceiling after we put the insulation just as a sound barrier. So it's a little more quiet down here when people are walking upstairs put insulation between these joists 